السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إن شاء الله نبدأ ب أول غوبينار كيف الصوت How is the voice You can listen to me You can hear me You can hear me السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك العليم الحكيم اللهم أخرجنا من ظلمات الوهم وأكرمنا بنور الفهم وافتح علينا بمعرفة العلم وسهل أخلاقنا بالحلم آمين وأجمعين اللهم ارزقني نعمة الإخلاص لوجهك الكريم بكل ما أقول وبكل ما أفعل آمين يا رب العالمين My webinar today is about musculoskeletal imaging spot cases I have uh, 50 case spot cases hoping to answer all of them welcome to my colleagues all of you from Jordan and outside Jordan and we start with uh, our first case what is the your diagnosis in in this first case What is diagnosis in this first case? this answer what is the diagnosis we receive one answer two answer we need more answers okay let us answer this case as you see here, this is uh, os subtibiali. It is well corticated accessory bone, well corticated accessory bone, and it is not a vulgin fracture. It is not a vulgin fracture. It is an os subtibiali. It is an os subtibiali. 
So this is a normal variant. It is not a virgin fracture. Can be mistaken by a virgin fracture, but it is a well corticated one. Okay, let us move to the next case. Uh, this patient, what do you think this patient has? 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 Okay, we receive two answers. We want another two and start our answering the case. So we have this calcification here and this is a case of tumoral calcinosis this is a case of tumoral calcinosis this is an extensive calcification in, and this is a case of tumoral calcinosis okay we move to the next case What do you think about the next case? So the previous case, it is about, it is tumoral calcinosis. And what do you think about the next case? What do you think about the next case? Very good, Shadi. Very good, Dr. Al Udi. Okay, let us answer this case. This is, as you see here, this is double shadow of the PCL, and it is called double PCL sign and it is indicating a bucket handle tear or bucket handle tear it is indicated bucket handle tear and let us move to the next case well, let us move to the next case and the next case uh, 
it is Let us move to the next case. What do you think about the next case? What do you think about the next case? What do you think? The next case. Very good, Dr. Tawil. Very good, Dr. Tawil. Very good, Dr. Tawil. Okay, and this is... Very good, Dr. al Udi. Okay. Okay. Let us let us answer the case. It is as they said. It is sacral insufficiency fracture. Sacral insufficiency fracture. And you see edema here, edema here, and the both sacral sacro, sacrum, both side of the sacrum and it is a sacral insufficiency fracture and it is Honda sign and we move to the next case what do you think about the next case the patient has What do you think the next case the patient has? We hoping the all of watching the live streaming try to share with the answer try to share with the answer very good Dr. Milham very good Dr. Milham okay this is and we start to answer this question and this is a pelvic diastasis of open book fracture we have the stasis of the pubic symphysis and the sacroiliac joint sac both sacroiliac joints so this is a pelvic diastasis or open book fracture okay this is we move to the next case what do you think about the next case the patient has أهلا وسهلا دكتور إبراهيم
we hoping all watching participate but participants sharing their answers and uh, and this webinar نعمل من الجميع المشاركة بالجواب اوكي وي هوبينج تو ريسيف كوركت انسرز فروم اول اوف يو اند ثانكس اول اوف يو فور انسرز ذا كيسز Fadi Abu Shawish, okay. Look again, Dr. Abu Shawish. After the stand on tail, no. Ahmed Nis, very good, Dr. Nis. Okay. Ahlan wa sahlan. Doctor from Lebanon. Okay. So this is a case of calcific tendinitis involving the acalis tendon and the calcification. It is calcium hydroxyapatite crystal. So this is a calcific tendinitis involving the acalis tendon. Okay. It is not. severe disease so this is a calcific tendinitis involving the acadus tendon we move to the next case okay look at the next case and try to answer the next case We hoping all our colleagues who are watching the webinar try to share their answers. We hoping all our colleagues who are watching the webinar to share their answers. What do you think about the next case? Okay, we received some answers. Unfortunately, the answers are uh, not correct. And as we see here, this is a budget disease involving the humerus, right? Humerus with cortical thickening and cortical bone. This is a budget disease, okay? This is a budget disease involving the right humerus. With cortical thickening and the trabeculation. So this is a budget disease. Very good, Dr. Nies. Okay, we move to the next case. What do you think about the next case patient has?
What do you think the patient has? Thanks, Dr. Al-Oudi, for some descriptions. Acromegaly, no, it is not acromegaly. Look at again, it is not acromegaly. Okay, we will answer the case. So you have the acalis tendon and we have discontinuity of the acalis tendon and it is acalis tendon tear. This is a discontinuity of the acalis tendon as you see here. This is the fibers and the fibers are discontinuous and this is acalis tendon tear. So this is acalis tendon tear. Very good, Dr. Kamal. Okay, this is a cadis tendon tear. We move to the next case. What do you think about the next case is the patient has? What do you think the next case the patient has? As usual, we have the link for certificate attendance. If you want to receive the certificate attendance, you fill your, the required fields, your name and your email, and you will receive the certificate in a moment. Okay, so we receive some answers. Very good. This is simple case and we receive uh, some answers um, that this is a reverse uh, zygon defracture this is a reverse zygon defracture so this is very good all of you for answering the question and this is a reverse zygon defracture okay Reverse zygon defracture, it is in the medial part. Zygon defracture, it is on the lateral aspect. Okay, so this is a reverse zygon defracture. We move to the next case. Okay, what do you think about the next case? What do you think about the next case is the patient has we have bilateral right and left foot feet 
Okay, what do you think the patient has? Okay. What do you think the patient has? Okay. What do you think the patient has in this? Uh, what do you think the patient has? Next case. We receive uh, look at the nav navicular bone. Look at the navicular bone. Both of navicular bones on both feet are abnormal. What do you think? Both of navicular bones are abnormal. What do you think? No, it is not accessory navicular bones. We give, we show you a navicular bone osteonecrosis in a child. This is an osteonecrosis of navicular bones in adult. What is the name of the, what is the name of the osteonecrosis of navicular bone in adult? What is the name of the osteonecrosis of the navicular bone in adult? What do you think? So this is a case of osteonecrosis of the navicular bone in adult this is adult and it is called molar west syndrome this is called molar west syndrome so this is a bilateral molar west syndrome involving the navicular bone in adult okay we move to the next case what do you think about the next case What do you think about the next case? Very good, we have two answers, three answers, very good.
Okay, we have the anterior dislocation of the left hip as we see here. This is the anterior dislocation of the left hip. Very good, all of you, for answering. We move to the next case. Uh, we move to the next case. What do you think about the next case is What do you think about the next case is Here is again the link for the for the receiving certificate of attendance of this uh, webinar only write your name and your email and you receive the certificate very soonly. Okay, very good, Dr. Malham. Very good, Dr. Hassan. Okay, very good, Dr. Shawish, Abu Shawish. Okay, we have this patient has been at the as we see here. This is a benet fracture, intraarticular fracture, involving the base of the first metacarpal bone. And we move to the next case. What do you think about the next case the patient has? What do you think the patient has? What do you think the patient has? Okay. Bone metastasis. Okay. From where? What do you think? From where bone metastasis? What do you think? From where the bone metastasis? Someone write multiple myeloma. Someone write uh, osteomyelitis. Uh, what do you think about the uh, bone metastasis from where? Mostly from CA breast. Okay, very good, Dr. Nies. Okay, uh, this is a case of bone metastasis. As we see here, this is involving the right humerus, involving the scapula, the clavicle, and the chromion. And this is the surgical crepes of the uh, of the surgical crepes of the right breast, and this is the metastasis from the breast. Okay, very good, all of you, for answering this uh, question, and we move the uh, to the next case. What do you think about the next case? This patient has. What do you think the next case this patient has what?
What do you think the patient has? The next case. What do you think? Left sarcoiditis, okay. We have some answers. Mm, left sarcoiditis, Dr. Kamal, very good, Dr. Kamal. Okay, left sarcoiditis, okay. Okay, here we have left sarcoiditis. You need a towel. Sarcoiditis, you should do without infection. You should roll out infection, okay? You should roll out infection. And uh, we move to the next case. The, uh, we move to the next case. Mm. Okay, what do you think about the next case the patient has? What do you think the patient has? We receive some answers. Very good, Dr. Hassan. Okay. Very good, Dr. Malham. And uh, answer of this case, it is Barton fracture, as we see here, into articular fracture of just just a radial fracture with extension into articulate with dorsal angulation. As we see here, it is dorsal angulation, and this is a Barton fracture. Okay, we move to the next case. What do you think about the next case the patient has? This is the link attendance. Someone asked for link attendance. Dr. Wazir, 
this is the link to attendance for the this webinar okay very good dr shadi okay very good dr Udi. okay we have some answers and we will answer the case and this is a case of charcot arthropathy or charcot joint very good and we see here involving the right shoulder joint okay we move to the next case okay this is the our next case okay okay we move to the next case what do you think about the next case the patient has what do you think the patient has BVNS, Dr. Vihani, no. Okay, rheumatoid arthritis, Dr. Udi, very good, Dr. Udi. Okay, osteoarthritis, no. Okay, we answer this case. This is a case of rheumatoid arthritis, as we see here, symmetrical narrowing of the joint space, medial and lateral combined with secondary osteoarthritis. This is a case of rheumatoid arthritis, not osteoarthritis. It is secondary osteoarthritis due to rheumatoid arthritis. So this is a case of rheumatoid arthritis. Okay, and we move to the next case. What do you think about the next case the patient has? What about the next case? Okay, very good, Dr. Nies. This is a case, Dr. al -Udi also. Very good. This is a case of calcific tendinitis involving the supraspinatus tendon. This is a case of calcific tendinitis involving the supra spinatus tendon so this is a calcific tendinosis or calcific tendinitis involving the supraspinatus tendon okay we move to the next case uh, 
Okay, very good, Dr. Nies. We have, as we see, there is no tear and there is no muscle atrophy. Very good. Okay, uh, this is calcific tendinitis. Okay, we move to the next case. Okay, we move to the next case. What do you think about the next case the patient has? Okay, we receive some answers and are good answers. And this is a case of gouty arthritis involving the foot, right foot. It is the gouty arthritis involving the right foot. Okay, very good, all of you for answering the question. Okay. We move to the next case. What do you think about the next case the patient has? What do you think the next case the patient has? Okay.